your battery monitor might be lying to you. In this video, we're going to cover a couple of different ways that could be happening and what you can do about it so that you're not surprised with unexpected power outages. So real quickly, uh, it's important to cover what a battery shunt is and the type of ones that we're talking about. Um, we are a Victron dealer at Soda Solar, so we're primarily talking about the Victron Smart Shunt and the Victron BMV, as well as the Lynx Shunt uh, would also be included in this category. Uh, there are a number of other battery monitors that are out there which basically just read a voltage similar to this. Now this chart can be useful and I do recommend having one for reference, but it's not what we should be relying on day to day. Uh, so if you just have one of those bars that just has, you know, kind of empty, almost empty, halfway, three quarter and full, it's not really telling you a whole lot because really all it's doing is reading a voltage like this and filling up a number of those bars and it's not accurate at all, especially with lithium batteries like this SOK here. If you have one of those older ones, get a shunt, really do it. Most of the reasons why your battery monitor might be reporting an inaccurate reading is because uh, the battery monitor thinks that the battery is full when it's not. And we're gonna go over a couple of those reasons. There's another reason at the end of the video that we're gonna talk about that does not have to do with that. So before we get into those other situations, I wanna talk a little bit about what is full to a battery monitor when it comes to lithium batteries. The same principles can be applied with flooded lead acid, but they are a little bit different. So real quickly here, uh, here's a graph I've drawn with uh, <laughs> um, all the artistic talent and ability that I have. Here's a drawing I did of a typical lithium battery charge curve. We have the volts here starting lower at around 12 volts, let's say and we're gonna start charging 50 amps into it. And that's gonna continue on relatively the same for quite a while. Lithium does not uh, raise in voltage very quickly at all. That's why that chart isn't all that accurate. It stays very flat until you get right about to the end of the charge curve and then it climbs quickly. And at the same time as it climbs, the amps are gonna fall very quickly. And that is when it is full. When the volts are 14.2 volts or higher, and the amps are less than five amps into the battery if we are talking about a 100 amp hour battery. Typically the amps goes to zero real quick. When these two conditions are met, your battery monitor is gonna think it's full. So let's go over a couple of different ways that the battery monitor could be tricked into thinking that it's full when it's actually not. Uh, most common is when the battery is disconnected and there's another charge source supplied. So let's write down disconnect here so we can remember that. Some different types of charge sources could be your solar. Maybe you left that breaker on or there is no disconnect. That can be a problem. Uh, if you've connected to shore power while you're in storage and the battery is disconnected, the battery will continue to self-discharge through the winter and the shore power will keep telling your battery monitor, yeah, it's full, it's full, it's full. Another one can be if you're towing your trailer and the battery is disconnected that it will think that it's full because again the volts will rise and there will be no amps going to the battery the battery monitor thinks that is a full battery uh, the other case that we see quite a bit is in the cold a cold battery that is when at a low temp disconnect will behave the exact same way as a full battery so any of those conditions if the battery is too cold and there's solar coming in there's shore power coming in you're towing your trailer out of storage maybe, um, or you're headed south, and uh, basically the battery will react the same way as if it is full, just because it's cold. Now there's another way that your battery monitor can get off, which is not as dramatic as this, where it could jump from 60% uh, to 100%, or 30% uh, to 100%. And that's actually where we really like using the Serbo GX, because what it will show, um, let's say you, well, let's, let's get rid of this here so we can draw something different. If you look in the advanced tab on the Victron VRM website, if you have a Serbo GX and you see a state of charge, so SOC, if you see that graph go something like this, 
and here's 100 percent this jump right here that is where something happened uh, it could mean that's where the battery got too cold that could be where the battery was disconnected something happened and it jumped up and that is a great tool to figure out what has happened after the fact the last way the battery monitor can get off is what I would call drift and that's where just every cycle it may be off by let's say just point so 0 0.25 percent okay which you might think that's not a lot but if it does but if it's off by just 0.25 percent on a 100 amp hour battery that's not even a full amp hour that's uh 250 milliamps i believe but if you multiply that over time i want to say over 30 days that turns into almost a little over seven percent and you multiply that times three or four months you're looking at 20 30 40 percent difference in your state of charge just because it's drifting a little bit so the way to mitigate that and actually to mitigate all of this stuff or all of the different ways that your battery monitor could be lying to you is just to charge it up on a regular basis we recommend people charge their batteries fully and remember a full battery charge means you're looking for 14.2 volts or higher pretty much anything over 14 is good and then you also want zero amps you want zero amps going into the battery and of course the battery turned on the battery warm enough to accept a charge if you do if you see those things you can be very confident that your battery is fully charged and ready to go that's all i have for how a battery monitor can be maybe not lying to you but just confused let's say uh, if you have some other examples of the way a battery monitor can be off uh, please put them in the comments down below i'd love to know and i'm sure the other viewers and uh, subscribers would love to know as well speaking of subscribers uh, if you're not subscribed already we'd love uh, your subscription to our channel it helps us grow feeds the algorithm uh, lets us keep doing the things that we're doing here anyway that's all i got on this one uh, love to have you back again until next time we'll see you later